In 1900s, a mother of four named Mary and Bevan developed acromegaly and took up the title of being the ugliest woman in the world as a way to provide for her children. This is her tragic story, a reminder of how cruel the world can be. The world's homeliest woman wasn't always the epitome of ugliness. Bevan was actually an attractive woman in her early years before she suffered from acromegaly. The disfiguring ailment, a disorder in which the pituitary gland overproduces growth hormones, can cause adults to suddenly begin growing again. Hands and feet may swell, and the changing bone structure alters facial features. Bevan's pleasant face became grotesque, as her brow and lower jaw protruded and her nose expanded. Bevan's more beautiful days began in East London, where she was born as Marianne Webster in 1874. She became a nurse and by 1903 had married a farmer from Kent, Thomas Bevan. The happy couple had four healthy children. All was well with Bevan's until Thomas died unexpectedly, in 1914. It has been reported that his widow's acromegaly manifested itself after his death, though other sources claim the disease had already set in. Acromegaly is one of the rarer pituitary conditions, and today, it can be treated if detected early enough. However, under the limitations of early 20th century medicine, Bevan had no way of treating or preventing the condition, and she soon found her features changing beyond recognition. Bevan decided to capitalize on her worsening appearance in order to help support her large family. She entered a local, The Ugliest Woman, contest and bested 250 unsightly competitors. The original advertising, placed by a British agent for Barnum and Bailey's Circus, read, Wanted, Ugliest Woman. Nothing repulsive, maimed or disfigured. Good pay guaranteed, and long engagement for successful applicants. Send recent photograph. Blessed with such an unfortunate title, Bevan found work in the sideshow. The job seemed secure, as doctors promised she would continue to grow uglier. In 1920, she was hired by Sam Gumperts to appear in Coney Island's Dreamland Sideshow, a form of freak show, where she spent most of the remainder of her life. The public was invited to gawk at the 154 pounds she carried on her 5 foot 7 frame, as well as her size 11 feet and size 25 hands. She endured the disgusted looks of spectators for years, all to feed and educate her children. She occasionally treated visitors to photos of her beautiful family and boasted of her son's position in the British Navy. Eventually, Bevan succeeded in her goal of providing for her children, in the years performing in New York, she earned $50,000, roughly equivalent to $800,000 in today's money. The world's ugliest woman also appeared with the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey show. In 1929, while performing at Madison Square Garden, Bevan fell in love with the show's giraffe keeper, known as Andrew. The two were friendly to each other, and most importantly, the sideshow star didn't repulse the giraffe keeper. Nevertheless, Bevan chose to risk her career and get a makeover. A local beauty shop enlisted experts to work their magic on her. Some people held that the manicure, massage, permanent, and various treatments improved her looks, while other people told a newspaper that the rouge and powder and the rest were out of place in Mary Ann's countenance as lace curtains on the portholes of a dreadnought. After seeing the result for herself, the still homely woman remarked, I guess I'll be getting back to work. Her job was safe. There is no report on the giraffe keeper's reaction. Bevan continued exhibiting herself for the next several years, despite increasing pain and blindness from the disease. Her title as world's ugliest woman was eventually relinquished upon her death in 1933, at age of 59. Today she is put to rest at the Ladywell and Brockley Cemetery in South London as per her dying wish.